This is day 20, episode 14 of my modular journey. And today we are going to talk about the newest voice to the choir, the chainsaw oscillator. Look at how tiny this guy is. A little 4 HP, tiny little, little module. But check this out, it has three voices and each one of these voices has seven wave shapes in it. So that's, uh, that brings a, like, if, if you plug all three of them in and they're all coming out, that's like 21 wave, 21 sounds basically coming out of it all at once. Uh, seems pretty monstrous. It came in at about, uh, about 270 bucks. Three voices, each one, three voices, stereo out. Uh, it's got an FM modulation point and a volt per octave for, you know, changing those, uh, those lovely, uh, lovely tones. Uh, it's got a detune, also it's got a detune uh, modulation point. Um, but to, to talk specifics, uh, these are potentiometers with, with clickies in them. I mean, so it's like literally semitones per click. And if you push it in, it switches to a fine tune mode where it literally is super fine tuned. Each one of these seven wave shapes, you can then use this detune knob. And basically it starts to spread those, those, uh, those tones. Uh, away from each other, and, and it makes an amazing sound. Uh, down here is the squ uh, sawtooth to square um, potentiometer, so it kind of crossfades between those two. So again, tiny little module, kind of expensive, but tiny, and uh, super, super amazing. So let me mount these up real quick. We got our chainsaws mounted here. Um, First thing I want to do, of course, is try to tune one up. So I'm going to take a take an audio out over here to data. And let's see. Oh, look at that! It is almost perfect. C5. So um, coarse tuning, like I said, I'm going to turn it down now. You can see it goes like a semitone per per click. So I'm going to bring it down to C4. And then you see how the white, the green line is a little off. So now I can push that in, switching to fine mode, and then dial it down. And it's very sensitive, so it's really pretty uh, pretty spot on when you get there. About as close as I think any of my tuning abilities have been. All right. So what do these guys sound like? That is a damn good question. So I'm going to plug in the left and right. I'm going to come over to my mixer and turn it up. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna add volume. Let me turn off the reverb, no effects. So this is the chainsaw oscillator. This is the sawtooth side. So I'm gonna turn the knob and you'll hear the square coming in. So that's kind of neat. But this is where the magic happens when you start to detune this. I mean, I love that sound. So I tend to use uh, chainsaws uh, right now. I use one of them for chords. Uh, usually, like out of the Symphonian, I'll, I'll plug the three chords in. And the other one I'll use, uh, like, for a bass. So for, in order to get the bass sound... Turn it way down, make it a little bit more hollow sounding. Find a waveform I like. I mean, it goes way down there. It sounds amazing on the big speakers. So that is uh, kind of what the sound sounds like and how I use it, and of course why I wanted it. Uh, more voices, and now I've got these super fat, super saw oscillators to really bring out my 80s, my love of the 80s and late 70s. And then start bringing in my uh, left and right of, of the first chainsaw, and then here's the second one.
So you can see even by themselves, they sound fantastic. So what I've pre-wired over here on this side, of course, is also uh, some more marbles. So I'm gonna take, uh, uh, this is gonna be my trigger for, uh, for voice one. Or I should say my gates for voice one, and this is gonna be my gates for voice two. So now, of course, you see that you don't hear anything until we turn on marbles. <laughs> and then uh, to get different uh, different tones, I want to actually show off uh, just on the on one of the one of the chainsaws. I'm going to plug in all three of these pitch pitch tones coming out of uh, out of marbles into one of them to start with, just to show the uh, the three voices and the seven wave shapes coming out of it. So there's there's going to be just one of the uh, of the chainsaws right now. It's a little weird that it's stuttering like that, but that's the trigger I have. But even by itself, that sounds, this just sounds amazing. Let me take this one more guy out of, uh, out of this mystery jack, put it into the bass line of the second chainsaw. <laughs> I'm not sure why it's slewed. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Huh? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty amazing, right? <laughs> so, uh, again, just uh, the fact that I'm chasing random and and all this randomness is happening just makes it fills me with joy. Uh, it may it may not be too too musical, but man, it's funny as hell sometimes the things that come out of this. I actually had this thing belching the other night. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I was. I was too busy laughing to actually get any work done. <laughs> it was pretty amazing. So that's it for episode 14. Uh, coming up next, the Bastille Cinnamon filters. Then I will finally have an actual sound coming out of this thing. Um, can't wait. So stay tuned.